Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install TA Lib in just one line. So um, all you need to install TA Lib is this line, Conda install minus C, Conda forge uh, TA Lib. That's it. Um, in the past I, uh, I did things, it just took me hours, especially in Windows, like installing TA Lib separately, a million commands, then doing pip install. But with Conda it's one line. Um, I did talk about this in a previous video, but I guess people missed it because I didn't go through all the details. So um, let's get started. One small caveat is this doesn't work for Python 3.11, so you're going to have to um, uh, create a 3.10 environment. So this will make it a little bit more than one line. But anyways, um, let's do everything completely from scratch. So the first step is we want to download the Anaconda or Miniconda. Anaconda and Miniconda are give you the Conda uh, package uh, uh, um, manager. Miniconda just gives you nothing. It just literally gives you um, it gives you literally nothing, um, and you have to install everything from scratch. So you click this button. Um, this will give you the executable. I as you see, I've downloaded it a few times. Um, by the way, this will work for Linux and Windows. So you do just me, all this good stuff. Um, okay. So once this installs, the first step you, you need to do is you need to create the Python 3.10 environment. Okay, so like I just Googled it, how to do this, um, or I guess I still prefer Google over Bing, but like Microsoft always points you towards their thing. So you do conda create negative n, this, uh, the, um, you do conda create negative n, name of environment, Python version, um, uh, I don't, and I don't know why they, they wrote this thing. Um, uh, I, I, didn't, I don't know if you need this thing, but anyways, um, just to show you guys, like, um, we'll do it uh, or for our, our example. So now we have, uh, we go to uh, Anaconda prompt, Miniconda 3 prompt. Okay, so first step is we create the environment. So like I showed you guys in this example, it's like Conda create negative N environment name. Let's call it Pi. 310 and I need Python 3.10 but I want to use the latest so I can write Python equals 3.10 equals 3.10 and then I do dot star so this gives me a um, Python environment with um, 3.10 uh, and the latest 3.10 okay so this should work um, you do yes all that good stuff and by the way, this is from scratch. This doesn't even have pandas. This doesn't have Jupyter. This doesn't have NumPy. This doesn't have anything. So uh, this is completely from scratch. Okay. So uh, let's wait for this thing to finish. Um, okay, great. So now to use the Python 3.10 environment, we do conda activate, activate pi310. Yay, okay. So now we have the Python 3.10 environment. So let's install just some basic things like, let's do pip install pandas. We need pandas, I think. I think pandas automatically gives you NumPy. Um, yeah, see, look. Um, installing packages, NumPy, pandas. And let's uh, let's install y Yahoo Finance and let's install Jupyter and then we'll install the uh, TLib. Okay. So uh, I guess this is taking uh, a bit of time. Um, okay, so now let's pip install Y Finance. Just as, so we're gonna have data to run this thing. Okay. Um, okay, let's install pip install uh, Jupyter. I think it's Jupyter, the Jupyter Notebook. Yeah, I think so. So this gives you Jupyter. Okay. Okay, great. So this gives us Jupyter. So we're close to the moment of truth. Okay. We're close to the moment of truth. Uh, oops. Yep.
Sorry, this is taking longer than I expected, but I guess it's good to... This is how you can make an environment from scratch. Okay, let me just show you guys how the Jupyter Notebook thing works. Jupyter Notebook. You can do that. And let me just show you guys that TALib does not work. Um, so, the Jupyter Notebook. I guess this is the new kind of Jupyter Notebook. So, let's do new Python 3. Oh, it's funny. I already had something on TALib. <laughs> funny. Um, so, if I do import TALib, this is the new Jupyter interface for now. See, it doesn't have the lib. Okay, so for, let's forget this thing. Uh, leave, leave, let's forget this. And let's show you guys the, the uh, main point of this video is how to install TA lib easily. You literally just need to run this one line. This is way better than with pip install where you have like a, to install TA lib separately, the actual TA lib, and then uh, you have to do the Python version. And then nothing works, and nothing works, and nothing works. This is one line, boom. Of course, when this is a live video, something's gonna go wrong, but we'll see. Yay, it's working. Yay, okay, so now let's launch Jupyter Notebook. Let's go to the TA Lib Notebook I had. Um, uh, let's do uh, import TA lib. You see, it imported right. It worked. Okay. So now this is with Yahoo Finance getting the ticker. I got SPY just for fun, right? Um, and uh, I got, uh, uh, yeah, so I got SPY. And then let me show you guys like an example of a few things with TA lib. So let's do uh, Bollinger Bands. We can do TA lib uh, dot B bands. And let's do TF, DF ticker, uh, close. Uh, the Bollinger Bands, you have the uh, time period, 20, number of standard deviations on the up and the, on the, on the down, and um, moving average types. So you see, look, TA lib works. Uh, you can do a similar thing for RSI. Um, I did have another video on TA lib, so if you search my videos, you can find it. Oh, sorry, this is not called DF. This is called, uh, well, let's just do this. We'll do DF equals DF ticker, so it'll work. See, but see, look, the moral of the story is it works. So I have another video on this. I think it's called, um, uh, where's my channel? Uh, I, have a, I have another video on this uh, uh, YouTube studio. Uh, content. I have another video called uh, TA Lib Python tutorial. So I, I have more uh, examples here, but like um, I just wanted to show you guys that you literally can install it in one line uh, if you use Anaconda. You just have to have Python 3.10 or below. So that's why there's an extra step, but there's literally one line, just one line. Other than the, the fact that you needed Python 3.10, sorry, not, not the create line. It, the, the one line was the conda install negative c conda forge tlib. Okay, this was just a short video. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If you needed this, thank you.